Hello again, I am Blunty. So, check this out. It's an iPhone clip-on lens, and yeah, I've reviewed a bunch of these over the years, but this one is unlike anything else I have ever looked at. For a start, this thing cost 175 friggin' dollars. American. And while some of that is down to the extraordinarily high quality of the materials and construction, mostly it's down to the fact that the optical engineering is completely unique among clip-on iPhone lenses. And that is not only more expensive to produce, but it means they can charge more because they're the only guys out there doing this. That's what lack of competition gets you. But beyond that, more than just being a common wide-angle lens, this lens from Moondog Labs is a 1.33 times anamorphic lens adapter. Now, for those not camera nerdy enough to know what anamorphic lenses are all about, in short, they turn this into this. Originally used in movie making to squeeze a wide angle frame onto a standard 35mm film frame, an anamorphic lens kind of squeezes more horizontal space into an existing frame. Then later it is de-squeezed to produce a beautiful and cinematic wide angle aesthetic. In the case of the big boy anamorphic lenses, they squeezed in about twice the width usually. In the case of this lens, however, because of the iPhone's video mode already being widescreen at 16x9, it squeezes at a ratio of 1.33 times to produce the same 2.4x1 wide angle aspect ratio as the cinema lenses. But an anamorphic lens is about more than just the wide angles and sweeping panoramic widescreen looks. It actually gives you a subtly different look altogether. A look you just can't get by filming with the stock lens and say cropping it down from the top and the bottom bits to try and match the super widescreen look. It just doesn't give you the same aesthetic when you try and do that. And beyond that even, you get even more resolution than the standard camera allows when you film with this lens. With an app like Filmic Pro, which has a special setting built right into it to take full direct advantage of this lens and what it does to the image, instead of the 1920x1080 HD video you usually get, the app not only automatically de-squeezes the anamorphic image for you, so you don't have to do it yourself later in editing, but it gives you a native recording resolution of 2554x1080p. Which, unless I screwed up my math, which is possible because I suck at math, is something like 33% more pixels. Again, feel free to check my math on that as I do suck at math. But the point is, it's more. More pixels, more resolution, more detail, and that glorious super wide cinematic aspect ratio and sweeping aesthetic that just looks pretty. The lens itself is stunningly well made, built brutally solidly from anodized aluminium and with proper optical engineered glass lenses and everything, it's actually far heavier than it looks. It is a far, far cry from the usual crop of clip-on lenses. Even the best of them will fall well short of the material and build quality alone on show here. It comes with a soft pouch and a plastic case to protect your investment. The lid of the case can also double as a lens cap to help you protect the front element lens between shots when you're not ready to actually take the lens completely off yet. It's attached by simply sliding it on, which again is wonderfully engineered to fit absolutely perfectly, and it has a small friction latch to help keep the lens firmly attached. And as you've been seeing for yourself, the image quality is superb, avoiding all of the usual issues that come with clip-on lenses, most notably softness around the edges and chromatic aberrations. And yes, you will get the signature anamorphic lens flares, you know, the big horizontal streaks of light that directors like J.J. Abrams have famously almost no restraint about, but they're not nearly as extreme with this lens. You'll only really get to see them from super bright light sources, like the sun for example, and even then they're relatively subtle and thin. Which is fine by me, because I've always found those anamorphic lens flares a bit distracting. Now, of course, a lens like this is not for everybody, especially at this price. It's for people who know what they're doing when it comes to filming. It's for people who know why they want, or indeed need, to shoot in anamorphic widescreen. It's not a toy, it is a tool. But for those of you it does suit, those of you who shoot seriously or perhaps just passionately with your iPhone, a tool like this in your bag gives you a completely wonderful new look to play with and it's very exciting to use. 
And it is a look you just can't get with the native lens alone, no matter where you stand or how much you crop or any other attachment lens for that matter or any special effect app out there. It is unique to the combination of the iPhone and this physical lens. Sadly, while there are a few models to choose from depending on which iPhone you actually have, they are all custom built for just one model each. So when it's time to upgrade your iPhone, this expensive lens becomes well, useless on your new iPhone. And while yes, they do have a version for the also surprisingly high priced iPro lens system, which is an interchangeable lens system for iPhones, I'd really like to see a more universal and non-proprietary mounting option so I didn't have to buy the extra iPro lens system thingy, which I don't want to do because I have no need for it. There's also been quite a demand for these lenses, especially after they were used in some recent cross-promotional viral video production thingy between Apple and Bentley. That and the very slow production means between placing my order and delivery was about two months. Your mileage may vary, of course. Maybe they're catching up with demand by now, but my experience, the only experience I can share with you because it's my experience, was of an excruciatingly long wait. But I have to say, it was worth it. I love this thing. No other lens I've ever clipped on over another lens has ever been even close to this awesome. I foresee much fun in my shooting future with it slapped onto my iPhone 6 Plus. Thanks for watching. Hope this has been either interesting or useful for you. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time.